What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gridiron Rips. This is episode one of Unboxing eBay Finds. We picked up this box in an eBay auction last week, and we can't wait to show you what's inside. Let's go. <laughs> All right, as we mentioned in that little intro there, this is our first episode of Unboxing eBay Finds, which is a new series we're going to be running on the channel. The concept is very simple. We're looking for value in eBay auctions. We're going to pull the trigger where we think we're getting a good deal and buy the box, and then we're going to open it up here for you on the channel. This particular box cost us $148 USD when you add in all the tax and shipping, and we convert it from Canadian dollars to US dollars. Uh, and we're going to show you it, what's inside in just a second. But before we do, if you could take a second and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, we would really, really appreciate it. Um, so let's get, get into what's inside. We picked this box up from a store on eBay called uh, Polly's Emporium. They are located in Canada. I tend to stick to purchasing from uh, stores that are in Canada just because their duties and fees that I pay to import um, are high. I've covered up the addresses and stuff on here just for our own safety. So it looks good. It looks like they packed this in a nice little PSA uh, return box. And we have 10 2023 Prism value packs in here. So at 148 for the box, we got them for just under 15 bucks a pack. Uh, I'm really excited because I have not opened these yet for you guys on the channel. Excited for myself to open them too. I'm just going to go ahead and carefully get these all out here. So there you go. We got 10, 10 packs of Prism Value Hanger Packs here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we got CMC for good luck. Um, we're going to get into the rip, but as always, as you know, if you are interested in any card we pull on this on this rip, you can find it in our eBay store. The link to that is down in the description. Of course, not including our PC hits. Those ones stay with us. But with that, uh, let's get into it. We're going to track the value like we always do and see if we can make a few bucks. Uh, and that will kind of be the theme of the, of the uh, unboxing eBay finds videos. The reason I'm excited about doing these is because these have the red, white, and blue, which the Blasters do not have this year. Um, so excited to to see some of those and really looking to see if we can get a CJ. Uh, so let's go. We got a Desmond Ritter, Kareem Hunt, Tyreek Hill, Shaq Leonard, CJ Mosley. There we go. We got our first PC hit of the video. We got Brandon Ayuk. We got Darius Slayton, Tajay Spears. So we're in our rookies now. It looks like we got a silver, some greens. I didn't even bother looking, but I should see. So if you go on the packs here, you can see what's inside. I don't know if you can read that, but I'm trying to. Base, silver, red, white, and blue, and green, and then the same for rookies. And then we got fireworks, prism, break, emergent, hype, portals, prismatic. There's no autos in these, but some cool color variations. So we got... Tajay Spears, and then we got a silver Isaiah Foskey on the, just trying to get a cover card here, on the Saints. So we got at least a, a rookie on our silver there. I have two questions at this moment for everybody watching. One, do you think, what do you think, which cards are better? Which cards do you like better, Prism or optic and two do you think i got a good deal 150 148 dollars usd for these 10 packs i think i did but if you feel differently let me know down in the comments we got a green isaiah pacheco so a vet on the green but those are sweet looking cards pretty nice so we got a vet there. How am I going to do this? We're going to go like this. Base, rookie, vets. And then we got a... Boom! I know a lot of you won't be excited about this, but for the PC, that is sweet. We got a green parallel hype Brock Purdy for the PC. Loving that. He's getting a stand. He's getting a stand. 
I have not pulled uh, this Brock Purdy card yet, so that will definitely be a good addition to our PC. Loving that. And then we're in our red, white, and blues. We got Javon Curse. Uh, we got Javon Curse. We got Puka on the red, white, and blue. That is nasty. Woo! That's a good pull. We'll take that for sure. Puka on the red, white, and blue. Because I haven't opened any of these yet, I don't really have a good feel for the comps, at least on the red, white, and blue and the greens, but I have to think that's a pretty good card. I feel like Prism's kind of floor, if you want to call it that, is the highest of all the cards, Optic included. And then we got a Marquez Valdez Scantling and a Prismatic JSN. So... That feels like a lot of value for a $15 pack. I mean, I feel like if we got that out of a blaster, we'd be happy. So feeling pretty good about pack one. Let's see what we can get out of pack two. We are looking for CJ on some color. That's what I want to get out of this rip. Devin Duvernay, Michael Pittman, Van Jefferson, Rashawn Gary, Tyron Matthew, Patrick Peterson. There, we're into our rookies. All right. We got Sean Clifford, and then on our silver, doesn't look like a rookie. We got Andre Johnson on the Texans. What a beast he was. So we got an Andre Johnson on the silver on the Texans. Our green, we got, boom! Bryce Young on the green. We are, either we're having really good luck right now, or this is just what it's like, but I feel like we are we're hitting well on the luck side so here's my conundrum usually we only put two cards on stands but i'm not taking brock purdy down so we are making an exception we are putting brock purdy over here with the pcs and we're going to add a third stand and we're going to put bryce on the green right up there how about that that was a nice pull i feel like that was a good one let me just organize this so it looks a little nicer. Sorry, I know you're all like, get back to the rip. I'm on it. I'm on it. All right. We got a hype Tony Pollard on the green. And then on our red, white, and blues, we got Kyle Duggar. The next one should be our rookie. It is Kyle Duggar on the red, white, and blue. Chris Rodriguez Jr. on the red, white, and blue rookie. Matthew Stafford on the red, white, and blue, and a prismatic Jameer Gibbs. Again, I feel like that was a pretty good, pretty good pack. These vibes, someone told me, so uh, the reason that I ended up um, going after this auction was somebody told me the value packs were good, and so far, I have to agree. I was going to switch to the other pile, but let's stay with this, this pile, because it's been hot. So this is pack three. Pack three of ten. Let's see. Tony Pollard, Andy Dalton, Romeo Dobbs, Josh Palmer, TJ Watt, Ramondre Stevenson. We got a PC. We got Fred Warner. And then on the rookies, we got a Dalton Kincaid on the base rookie. We'll take that for sure. Big fan of Dalton Kincaid. I know I've mentioned this in the last few videos, but... Getting excited for that Niners game in Buffalo. We'll be there. All right, our silver is going to be not a rookie. Ben Skoranek. And then our green is Quinton Johnston on the rookie. It's a nice looking card. Are all the greens... So the green inserts... Let me go look at this again. These green prisms. Let's look. Are they all rookies? No. Okay. So then we got a Portals. Hendon Hooker on the green. Pretty nice. Take that. I feel like I didn't get enough sleeves out for this vid. All right. So our second red, white, and blue, which is going to be the rookie, is going to be on the Cardinals. Is that Clayton Toon? That is Clayton Tune on the rookies. 
Sorry, cream tune on the red, white, and blue, not on the rookies. All right, and then we got a Jalen Phillips and an emergent Javon Holland. I thought this was going to be a quick video, but I feel like it's going to be a little longer. So thank you all for sticking with me. I'm not sure if you just if you guys just saw the name on the back there, but looking forward to seeing what that is. We got Marquise Brown, Trey Hendrickson, Rashad Bateman, Panay Sewell, Darius Slay, Dallas Goddard. So our rookie in this pack is going to be Tyreek Stevenson. On the silver, we got a ooh, on the silver we got a Travis Etienne. On the green, it is a rookie again. So we're pulling all rookies in this slot. Tell me if that's just how these packs go. Boom! Jordan Addison. That feels like a good... Oh, man. I feel like we're having some... Pulling some heat here. Maybe I'm crazy, but... This feels... So far... Like a pretty exceptional... Rip. But you guys let me know in the comments what you think. So we got the Jordan Addison, and then follow that up. How about a green prism break, Jameer Gibbs? Taking that all day. Feels like we're just pulling all the rookies right now. All the rookies that we want to see. We will take that. All right. A red, white, and blue. Oh, it's not a rookie this time. Do we have a rookie? We have no rookie on the red, white, and blue. Austin Hooper. Quez Watkins, Cortland Sutton, and then we got a Portals, Anthony Richardson. I think this is just the standard, not a Prism or anything. But a Portals, Anthony Richardson. That is pretty dope. I wonder if because of that is why we didn't get a rookie on the red, white, and blue, or if we don't always get a rookie on the red, white, and blue, and we've just been lucky. Because I feel like we've gotten one every pack in the same spot. Whew. All right, pack number five. We are closing in on the halfway mark of this video. I don't know about you guys, but this is be quickly becoming a, a favorite product of mine so far. Gabe Davis, Javante Williams, Miles Sanders, Chandler Jones, Mark Brunel, Brian Dawkins, Curtis Samuel. So our rookie is Lucas Van Ness. So we finally got a rookie on the silver. So that is going to be for the Commanders, Emmanuel Forbes. So we got Emmanuel Forbes on the silver. Even pulling like these silver hollow rookies, I feel like out of the blasters, I was not hitting many at all. And then on our green, not a rookie, we got Marcus Allen. And then we got a, is this a fireworks? Looks like a fireworks. Travis ETN on the green. That is a slick looking card. All right. And then into our red, white, and blue, we got a Drew Bledsoe. A nice little color match there. Did we get a rookie this time? We got a rookie this time. For the Eagles. Who do we want? Rookie on the Eagles. Nolan Smith. So we got a red, white, and blue Nolan Smith on the rookie. On the red, white, and blue. And then we got a TJ Hawkinson and a Chris Olave on the hype. So we're through five packs, and I feel like, like maybe not the biggest names, but we're pulling heat, right? Like, you see the cards in the stands? All right. Let's start our second five, and let's see if we can keep this heat coming. Oh, these ones don't have the little rip the other ones had. Hope that's not a sign. Ooh, this one has a kid reporter on the back. We didn't see a single kid reporter, I don't think, in that first part. J.A., John Elway, Javon Holland, Tyreek Hill, Shaq Leonard, Curtis Samuel, Deontay Johnson. So our base rookie is going to be Emmanuel Forbes. Our silver is not going to be a rookie. It is going to be Justin Fields on the Bears. No longer. First green is not a rookie. It is Alan Lazard, but how nasty is that color match? I don't think you can get a better color match than that. 
And then we got a, what is this going to be? Ramondre Stevenson. On the hype, on the green. And then on the red, white, and blue, we got Danielle Hunter. No rookie. But a Jason Kelsey, which is a good pull. Oh, our rookie's in the third spot. So it doesn't seem to be any particular order. But I'm going to sleeve up Mr. Kelsey just because he retired. And I like that card. So then on the red, white, and blue rookie, we got Evan Hall. And on the fireworks, we got a Josh Jacobs. That felt more like a normal pack. Um, what do you guys think? That felt more like what I expected these packs to be like, but I'm not complaining at all. We still need that CJ. Come on, let's get a either a silver, green, or red, white, and blue CJ. That's what we're after here. Cole Komet, mm, Rondell Moore, Deshaun Watson, Drew Tranquil, AJ Dillon, Javon Kurse, Rashad Penny. So then we got a Joey Porter Jr. on the rookie. Ooh, our silver is a rookie this time. It's blue. Bears. It's going to be Roshan. Roshan Johnson on the silver prism rookie. Not the best centering we've ever seen. That's for sure. Might be an understatement. Roshan Johnson on the silver. We got on our first green... Kirk Cousins. And then we got a Jamar Chase on the hype. See, I think us getting all those rookie greens was unusual, we'll say. So we got a hype. Jamar Chase on the green. Red, white, and blue. We got a Rashawn Gary. Not a rookie on our second. Kyle Trask. Bears. Not a rookie on our third. DJ Moore on the red, white, and blue. And then our last card is an emergent Jordan Love. An emergent Jordan Love. A Jordan Love on a green would be a cool pull. Uh, I feel like that would be a cool color match. We got three packs left. Let's go. Man. When they don't have the little rip, these packs are harder to open. All right, we got another kid reporter here. Is that good? Good luck or bad luck? What do you guys think? Where do you land on the kid reporter? Is it good luck or bad luck? Joe Mixon, Lorenzo Carter, Jalen Petrie, Jimmy Garoppolo, boom. Nick Bosa, PC, Drew Bledsoe, Derek Henry. All right, so our first rookie is going to be Aiden O'Connell on the Raiders. Our silver is going to be Amari Cooper. I'm just going to sleeve up Mr. O'Connell here. So the silver is going to be Amari Cooper. Behind him, we got a green, not a rookie again. Danny Dimes. So we got a green Danny Dimes. And then we got a prismatic Stefan Diggs. So we got a Jordan Love on the red, white, and blue. I wanted it on the green, but we got it on the red, white, and blue. Let's just get a cover card here. It's a nice looking card. Jordan Love on the red, white, and blue. I feel like he will do okay. He's hot right now. Um, all right. Then we got a Matt Judon on the red, white, and blue. That color match is actually really nasty too. The blue, the white, and the red. Pretty sweet. Tank Dell on the red, white, and blue. That's a color match too. Digging that. That is sweet. We're getting back into the good rookie. The good rookies, if it's not going to be a CJ, that's the Texans rookie you want to pull. He had a monster first half of the season before he went down. We'll be cool to see what he does this season. All right, and then our last card was a Hype Herbie. So we had a Hype Herbie. All right, we're down to two packs. Two packs. We've cooled off a little bit. We started off really hot. Let's see if we can get a little bit of that magic back for these last two packs. A.J. Terrell, Emmett Smith, Jordan Poyer, Calvin Ridley, Chris Jones, Hassan Haskins, Devontae Smith. All right, so we got a Hennon Hooker. Not a rookie on the silver. 
Zach Ertz. The green is looking like Seattle, so we'll get a, a little color match action there. Tyler Lockett on the green. Then we got an emergent TJ Watt on the green. That's a nice looking card. I'll probably throw a sleeve on that just because it's a the color's nice. All right. Then we got our red, white, and blues. Our first one is going to be Matt Stafford. Do we got a rookie? No rookie on number two. Aaron Rodgers. Is this the quarterback pack? We got a rookie for the Raiders. I guess O'Connell. Yeah. Aiden O'Connell on the red, white, and blue. We'll take that. Not going to complain about that. All right. And then the last card in the second last pack is a Portals Brees Hall. Oh, I didn't recognize that. I have to look at the other portals. I didn't see that it's their college on the middle. Uh, and then their uh, their NFL uniform on the outside is cool. I don't know why I sleeve that. Well, I'm going to sleeve them all after anyway, so we can leave it sleeved up. All right. Uh, all right. We're going to put him there. Okay. Last pack. Sorry. I know this one's taken a while. I was not expecting these to be this good. I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for more of these packs uh, for future episodes for sure. Um, now more than ever, I'm convinced it was a, was a pretty good deal. We'll see what the comps come back at. But let's get into this last pack. Dan Dat Nugent, Samaj P. Ryan, Chase Claypool, Marquise Brown, Trey Hendrickson, Brett Favre, Asante Samuel. All right. So we got our Broderick Jones on the rookie. If you watched our optic pull earlier this week, you know we pulled a banger of him. So Broderick Jones, silver. Can it be a rookie? For the Bills, show me Dalton Kincaid on the rookie. If not, give me a Josh Allen. Khalil Shakir, year two. Okay. Should He should have every opportunity in the world to have a big year out there in Buffalo. I mean, I don't know who's going to be catching balls, but he's got he's got a good opportunity. So our green, uh, not a rookie. Oh, baby. Another one. Brock. Broccoli on the green. Whew. We're having a PC day on the greens anyway. You know what that means. We're going to need a fourth stand. Because Brock Purdy gets a stand. Every time. So we got the green Brock Purdy. And then we are almost done. And we'll get into our recap. We got a handful of cards here. We got a Portals... Joey B. Cool looking card. Portals. Green portals. Joey B. Like that. Man, I'm excited for this season, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Red, white, and blue. Last shot out of CJ on the red, white, and blue. It's not going to be this one. We got Sky Moore. Not a rookie. Xavier McKinney. It is a rookie for the... Jets. Hmm. Israel Abanaconda on the red, white, and blue is going to be our last red, white, and blue card of the video. And then we're going to close it out with a Ramondre Stevenson on the hype. So, I don't know. It's going to take me a while to run these comps. I have no idea what, which of these cards is going to have value and which isn't. So, Bear with us. The good news for you is it'll be like this and we'll be right back. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, we're back. I told you it'd be quick. We ended up with 15 cards that exceeded our $3 threshold to make it into the recap. So overall, we did pretty good. But did we make our money back? Let's see. As we mentioned at the start of the video, this box ended up costing us $148 USD. We wanted it in an auction on eBay. And we are now going to see the cards we got out of it and the value. So we had the Anthony Richardson on the portals base came back at $3.
We had the Chris Rodriguez Jr. on the red, white, and blue. Came back at $3. We had the Joe Burrow on the green portals, which came back at $3. And we had the Jordan Love on the red, white, and blue, which came back at $3. So those were our $3 cards. Then we had uh, a couple more. We had the Aiden O'Connell on the red, white, and blue that came back at $325. Javon Curse on the red, white, and blue came back at $362 into some of our greens here we had the Quince quinton johnston on the green prism which came back at 453 we had brock purdy the man himself came back at five dollars shout out to brock purdy shout out to the niners fans watching this channel all right we had the red white and blue jason kelsey come back at 549 we had another banger of a Brock Purdy on the hype on the green parallel. Came back at 550. We had the prism break. Jameer Gibbs came back at 749. And now we're into our cards that were, you know, over $10. So we had the Tank Dell, uh, red, white, and blue, which came back at $10. We had the Jordan Addison on the green prism, which came back at $11.05. And then our two big cards, we had the Bryce Young on the green prism, which came back at $24.99. So much panini dust on these from uh, from the packs. And then we had the Puka Nakua on the red, white, and blue came back at $39.99. Uh, this is a sweet card. I was really happy with that. Overall, I was really happy with the pull. So if you total all those up, that equals almost $133.00. Uh, so not bad, but we didn't quite make our money back. We ended up taking a loss, but we've got some other cards that I'm going to throw up in the store. Some other red, white, and blue rookies and silver rookies that'll probably close that gap. And my guess is we'll end up being pretty close to even. Let me know what you think about this rip down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this new concept. I, I uh, you know, I watch Sky B. I watch some of these other channels and I love how they do the retail hunting in the wild. Unfortunately for me in Canada, that's not really an option. I never see a store stocked like those guys. Uh, so I'm putting a little a little flip, a little twist on the concept, and we're going to do some eBay value hunting. Um, so yeah, we've got some future videos coming up for this series. Make sure you tune into those. And until next time, peace.